All right, YouTube, I'm back. I just made a video um, from last week's haul, and now I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got this week. Uh, it's a beautiful day up here in Florida. A little warm, but not as warm as it has been. And I just got back from garage sailing. I was mostly looking for coins and jewelry today, which I found just a little bit. These coins here are pretty interesting. Uh, these are actually the only coins I got today. And they're little miniature coins. And they're pretty funny because they say... <laughs> They say on here, Moms, got it in 1981, and all the dates are 1974, but as you can see, they're little miniature coins. I don't know anything about them. Uh, I doubt they're even silver, but the fact that uh, I don't have any, and I I remember seeing these in the auctions before. I don't remember what they went for, but I paid three bucks for them. Uh, obviously, that's more than I would want to pay. I'd rather get it for like a quarter or something, but, but uh, the lady was... She was kind of hard-headed, and uh, I was like, you know what, let me just pay up on this one, and uh, we'll see, you know, I'll get what I get. Uh, next garage sale, I bought this. This is sterling. Uh, just a little necklace, but it came in a bag with several other necklaces, including including this thing, which is just junk, but the the bag was marked 50 cents, so I bought the bag. I'll, I'll throw this thing in the garbage, probably, and then I'll keep this, and I'll have 50, 50 cents tied into this this necklace uh, another garage shell I went to I rolled up there and the lady had a bunch of jewelry and I saw it Mark Sterling as soon as you see just at a garage sale where it's Mark Sterling he kind of a little aggravated because that means they know what it is and they think you know how they are they think Sterling's worth a gazillion dollars um, so this was the first thing I saw and this is all Mark Sterling pretty nice piece uh, I haven't weighed it yet, but on the inside, you can see on the lower side, there's a little marking or something. And I know my phone, being the high quality phone that it is, it will pick it up perfectly. But right on the bottom, it is Mark Sterling. And also the chain itself is also Mark Sterling up here. It's got a nice, uh, the nice clasp, which is a good sign. And it was marked for $9.50. Now $9.50 for a necklace like this is not bad. And I probably may have bought it. Maybe. But uh, she says, oh, by the way, everything is 50% off. So I end up getting this um, for half off of $9.50, which is like $4.75, I guess, right? So $4.75 for that, which is not a bad price. I haven't weighed it yet, like I said, but... Uh, there's another piece here. This is actually 14 karat gold, and it's marked 14 karat. And it was marked at $14, so that means I paid $7 for this. And I haven't weighed it yet, but, uh, if I, you know, that's the back side of it. But you see the front side, it's actually pretty nice. But, uh, here's some earrings, which are all also marked gold. Uh, these are 14 karat. And they're cubic zirconium, and they are marked clearly, 14 karat. Uh, I say mark. I will test it, but I haven't tested it yet. But I'm sure, um, you know, you can tell if it's real or not, you know. I mean, especially I paid 6 bucks for these. You can see they're marked $12.50 half off would have been, you know, six twenty five, And she thought she'd give me, yeah, 6 bucks, whatever, I'll take it. Um, here's some other ones, which, you know, I paid, you know, probably uh, $2 for. But they're sterling. And they're not the prettiest thing, but you know what? It says they're Indian. They're from uh, Tucson, Arizona. If I'm paying $2 for a piece of Indian uh, silver, <clears throat> then it's, it's hard to go wrong. Um, here's a couple. This is actually the first piece that I saw. And I saw the price on it, $6.50. And I was like, ah, $6.50. Sterling, that's too much. But of course, you know, I'm going to get it for 3 bucks. You know, and you can kind of see with, you know, in reference to a dime. They're pretty good size, you know. So not bad pick. Uh, this is another one. This is marked eight bucks, um, but it's a nice piece. Got a nice, nice stone on it. It's all Mark Sterling, so it's a nice piece. That was four bucks. Here's some more gold, right? Mark six fifty. So of course I'm gonna pay three dollars for that. And it's a, it's a nice marked um, hoop. And it's probably I haven't even weighed it yet, but it's, if it's not a gram, I mean it's probably a gram. I mean, it's hollow. But it's not small. You know, it might not be a gram, but it's still worth three bucks. You know, uh, here's another nice um, says Indian piece. 
turquoise marked uh, Mexico 925 you know three bucks I paid for it so I'll buy that kind of stuff all day this is actually a nice wearable piece um, silver and it says Amherst on it let me pull this one out because I kind of actually like this one problem is I get so much of this stuff my wife has more jewelry than you can shake a stick at you know, God forbid if we ever divorce and she gets a new boyfriend, he is not going to be able to impress her with jewelry because she has lots and lots of nice jewelry. You know, and when you're buying beautiful pieces like this for three bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, this is another piece here. This, actually, this is, and that's all from that garage sale. Uh, this is another piece I got. And honestly, I paid a dollar for this one, which I thought was a little high. Oh, actually, that's something different. I forgot about them. I paid a dollar for these. They're not marked. They said that they got them out at an Indian reservation. Um, so, they're Indian made, and I assume... Well, I hate to say I assume. I'm hoping... I'm hoping that they're sterling. They've kind of got the look. They've got some coloring on them. There's some, there's some good signs, but then there's a couple bad signs, too. So, we'll see. I'll test them in a little bit. Uh, but I paid a buck for them. Now, these pieces here... Uh, these are, I like these ones. Uh, these are sterling. They're little Tinkerbells. The people that I bought these from, you know, they had the, uh, the yearly sub, uh, passes at Disney. And the video is not giving them, let me see if I can get a better shot. The video is not doing them much justice. But when you see these in real life, my camera, um, is not spectacular and I need to do something better there they are you can kind of see them there but they're they're nice they're uh, they're kind of frosted and they, they they say Disney on the back they say Disney 925 so that's a good pick I think I paid either a quarter or 50 cents for them yeah I think I actually paid 50 cents for them 50 cents or a quarter one or the other um, so then I left and some of this other stuff's not really metals, but uh, I saw this whole bag. And, you know, sometimes you see these pearls, whether they're fake or real, and you kind of start looking at the ends. And I started going through it, and I just, I glimpsed on the bag three bucks. I said, you know what, I'm not even going to pick through it. Three bucks, I'll buy it. It'll give me something to do. It'll be a little treasure hunt when I get home. So, so I haven't even done it yet. I have, have no idea what it is. Um, my battery's running out here, so I'll make this quick. And then, this is the other stuff I got. Oh, I got some more gold I forgot. Uh, I bought this. It's just an earring. But it's four, Mark 14 carat. Small little thing. I paid a buck for it. Which, um... It, it's probably not worth much more than a buck. It's got some stones. I don't know if they're diamonds. They kind of look like diamonds, honestly. They, uh... They don't look nice enough to be, uh, CZs, so... I don't know. If, uh, my camera didn't suck, you'd get a good picture of them. 